A hacker doesn't need your password to hurt you. All they need is what's already public. A social post, an old email address, a shared document, or maybe a forgotten server that's still connected to the internet. Piece by piece, those fragments build a story about who you are, how your organization works, and where you might be exposed. That's OSINT, or Open Source Intelligence. It's the art of collecting and analyzing information that's freely available online. For attackers, OSINT is the first step in mapping their target. For defenders, the blue team, it's the mirror that reveals how visible and vulnerable an organization truly is. Because in cybersecurity, there's one simple rule. You can only protect what you can see. So, let's break down the six most important OSINT techniques that every blue teamer should understand and how they help you see your own digital reflection. Let's start with breach and leak monitoring. This one's all about awareness. It's about knowing whether your organization's data, things like employee emails, passwords, or even internal files, has already appeared somewhere on the internet. The truth is, data breaches happen all the time. Sometimes they make the news, but more often, they don't. Maybe a third-party vendor got hacked and leaked one of your old email addresses. Maybe a former employee reused a corporate password on another site that was later compromised. These things happen quietly, but once the data is out there, it can be weaponized, used for credential stuffing, phishing, or even targeted social engineering. For defenders, this isn't about panic. It's about clarity. Knowing what's already exposed lets you prioritize what to fix. A great place to check this is haveibeenpwned.com. It's a simple site where you can enter an email address and see if it's appeared in any known data breaches. You might be surprised by what's already public, and that's the whole point. Breach monitoring helps you stay one step ahead before that information becomes a problem. Next is asset discovery and exposure awareness. This is where OSINT starts to feel like detective work. Every organization has a digital footprint. Websites, servers, cloud instances, old test environments, and internet-connected devices. Over time, that footprint grows. People move on, projects change, but the infrastructure often stays online, unpatched, forgotten, and still accessible. Attackers love those forgotten corners of the internet. They're rarely monitored, and they often use outdated software. So one of the best things a blue team can do is simply see themselves the way outsiders do. That's where Shodan.io comes in. Shodan is like Google for devices. It scans the internet and lists everything that's reachable. Routers, cameras, web servers, databases, and more. When you search for your organization's domain or IP range, you see exactly what an attacker might see. It's often eye-opening and sometimes a little uncomfortable, but that's the goal. Asset discovery is about shining light into the blind spots so they can be fixed before someone else finds them. Now let's talk about certificate and subdomain monitoring. Every time a website or service enables HTTPS, it requests a TLS certificate. Those certificates are public and that means they leave a trail. A clever analyst can use those trails to discover new subdomains, test systems, or staging environments that are publicly accessible. For example, maybe your company launches a new internal portal for testing. The developers create a subdomain like test.internal.yourcompany.com, get a certificate for it, and forget to remove it later. That certificate record stays visible, even if no one mentions that subdomain anywhere else. A great tool for this is crt.sh, which lets you search through all publicly issued certificates. It's simple, but powerful. By entering your domain, you can see every certificate tied to it, even old or unexpected ones. This gives defenders a clearer picture of their infrastructure and helps them catch assets that might have slipped through internal documentation. Moving on to threat intelligence correlation. Around the world, researchers and security teams constantly share information about attacks, malicious IPs, compromised domains, suspicious file hashes, and phishing campaigns. These are often called indicators of compromise, or IOCs. The power of OSINT here lies in context. You take those external IOCs and compare them with what's happening in your own environment. If one of those known malicious domains suddenly appears in your logs, that's a signal. It connects your internal data to a global trend. Platforms like VirusTotal.com and OTX.AlienVault.com are great for this. They collect millions of data points from around the world and make them searchable. You can look up a domain, a file, or even an IP address and see whether it's been associated with malware or other incidents. For blue teams, this kind of intelligence is invaluable. It helps prioritize what's dangerous and what's just noise. It turns data into understanding, and understanding into action. Next up is brand, phishing, and domain monitoring. Attackers often target people's trust, 
and one of the easiest ways to do that is by pretending to be you. They register lookalike domains that differ from your real one by just a letter or two. For example, if your real domain is mycompany.com, an attacker might register mycorompany.com with an RN instead of an M. To the average user, it looks identical. These fake domains are used for phishing emails, credential harvesting, or spreading malware. OSINT helps you catch them before they spread. Tools like DNS Twist can automatically generate and search for these typo variants of your domain. And with urlscan.io, you can safely preview how these suspicious sites look and what they contain without risking exposure by visiting them directly. Brand monitoring isn't just about technology. It's about protecting reputation and trust. It's knowing when someone's trying to impersonate you before your users fall for the trick. And finally, metadata and content hygiene. This is one of the most overlooked aspects of OSINT. Every digital file you share, whether it's a photo, a PDF, or a PowerPoint, carries hidden information called metadata. A photo might include GPS coordinates of where it was taken. A document might reveal the author's name, the internal folder path, or even the version of software used to create it. Individually, these details seem harmless, but together, they can tell an attacker exactly where, when, and by whom a file was created. Tools like metadata2go.com let you inspect what's hidden inside files. This awareness is key. Before you publish or share something publicly, it's worth asking, what else am I sharing here without realizing it? For organizations, this can be built into standard processes, automatically cleaning metadata before uploading or releasing content. It's a small step that can prevent a surprisingly large amount of unintended data exposure. Together, these six techniques form the foundation of defensive OSINT. They're not hacking tools, they're lenses. Each one helps you see a different layer of your public exposure. Breach monitoring shows what's already out there. Asset discovery reveals what's visible. Certificate tracking highlights unnoticed changes. Threat intelligence brings global context. Brand monitoring protects trust and reputation and metadata hygiene safeguards the hidden details you might not even know you're sharing. They won't solve everything, but they'll open your eyes. Because OSINT isn't about fear, it's about awareness. It's about understanding what's already visible, so you can decide what should stay that way and what shouldn't. Once you see your organization the way an attacker does, you can finally start defending it the way a professional should.